Hey, this is Jason with Think Converged again. I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Avaya voicemail. From your phone, you're going to dial star 17. Welcome to Avaya IP office. For help at any time, press star H. Please enter extension and pound key. Now here I can enter my extension, but since I'm sitting at my desk, I can also just press pound and it'll read the phone. Enter password and pound key. Now because I haven't set up a password yet, I'm just going to press pound. Please enter new password and pound key. Now I'm going to do this on purpose. I'm going to dial 1234. Re-enter password and pound key. 1234. Your password cannot be the same as your extension number, consecutive digits, or a single repeated digit. Please enter a new password and the pound key. Okay, so we've gotten prompted that there is security on the voicemail system, so we have to come up with something a little more creative. In this example, I'm going to do 2468. Re-enter password and... Changed. As you use a VIA IP office, your name will be included in system announcements that you and other people will hear. Press 1, and at the tone, please speak your name. After speaking your name, press 1 again. Now, I usually recommend picking up the handset to do this part, but for this example, speakerphone works fine. Jason Morrison. Jason Morrison. To re-record your name, press 1. To approve, press pound. I'm going to press pound. Jason Morrison. No new messages. To record messages. Okay, so from there, in this example, my voicemail is now set up. I've set a password and I've recorded a name. The recorded name is important because if you use dial by name from your auto attendant, you have to have a recorded name to be active in that directory. Now, I'm going to jump over to using the most commonly used way of checking voicemail, which is visual voicemail on an IP office. So when I press my message button, it now asks me to press uh, listen, message, greeting, passcode, and if I scroll down, voicemail is on, which is what I want. You can also turn it off probably not recommended in most cases. Listen is obviously where I'm going to check my messages. It says zero slash zero slash zero. That's new, old, and saved. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, what I wanted to show you is greeting, recording your greeting. If I select this, it now gives me the options of record and listen. If I listen, it'll just tell me the default. I'm going to record a greeting. I'm going to press record. Hello, you've reached the desk of Jason Morrison and I am unavailable. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I press stop and now I can listen to that. Hello, you've reached the desk of Jason Morrison and I am unavailable. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. For this example, that sounds great. I'm going to press submit. And now that is what will answer my phone. I'm going to exit out of here by pressing my home button. And now we're going to go ahead and leave a message for me. Hello, you've reached the desk of Jason Morrison and I am unavailable. This is just a test message for this demonstration. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, so now that I have a message, we see that I have illuminated the top right corner. I'm going to press the message button. And now it says listen one slash zero slash zero. So I'm going to press select. And it says I have one new message. It now tells me who the message is from, 
the date and time, and from right here I can play it. This is just a test message for this demonstration. I demonstra can pause while I'm listening to it, and I can Duration. replay here. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. If I press more, I can now delete this message. I can save it, which would move it to the saved column. Uh, that is important if you do want to save this message. Most systems are set to delete old messages, which are messages you've listened to but not deleted or saved, after 30 days. Just FYI. I can also press copy and copy this to other users on the system. I have the option to record, which is like a header. Uh, hey, I thought you should listen to this message or this is important, blah, 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 whatever you want to say as to why they're getting this message in their mailbox. You don't have to do that though. You can also just hit send to and then start putting in extension numbers. So I put in 1003, it says Kathy Johnson, I hit add. So now she's added to the list and now I can add more people if I would like or I can just simply hit send. And now it sent a copy to Kathy's mailbox. I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to hit back. I'm actually just going to hit my home button. That is your brief overview of setting up and using your voicemail on an IP office. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you.